may not like how things are going. You may not agree with those who seem to have power over your happiness. But here is a great secret of life. You have way more influence than you realize. Gandhi called this influence truth force, love force, soul force. It is the inherent power in you to conjure the truth and the very best in other people. It is the power in you to change people's hearts and minds by changing the way you see them, by changing the way you observe them. Nobel physicist Max Planck said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Scientists have discovered that when a teacher is merely told a student has a higher IQ, that student's IQ rises to meet the teacher's expectations. Expecting the best from people brings out the best in people. But the reverse is also true. Seeing the worst in people brings out the worst in people. Your consciousness has the power to conjure the very best or the worst in everyone you observe, even at a distance. Our friends, our families, our children, our co-workers, our police, even our presidents, we have the power to change each and every one of their hearts and minds simply by changing our own hearts and minds about them. We all have darkness in us, but we also have the light. And in every moment we have another chance, another choice of whether darkness or the light is given reign over our consciousness. What you stand witness for in others is strengthened in them by the power of your observation. When you look for the worst in someone, when you make them wrong in your mind, when you refuse to see the best in them, you are committing a spiritual assault of the worst kind. For you are testifying against their ability to choose the light, standing witness for the darkness in them, and strengthening its power over their heart and mind. If you've ever faced a hostile crowd, a hostile cop, a hostile lover, you felt the destructive force of another's contempt for you. Do not give in to this way of seeing. Stand witness for the light in others. The unassailable divine spark forever shines in the hearts of every man, woman, and child, just waiting to be called forward. When you call on the divine spark in someone, you lend it the strength to prevail in their consciousness. The power of your divine witnessing calls forth the truth in other people's minds. It calls forth the love in their hearts. It calls forth the grace and the beauty of their souls. Divine witnessing is the most powerful form of nonviolence because it heals the very source of violence. It turns your enemies into friends, even when you thought they were deplorable and wrong. In a place where you see no light, you make your own. You call upon the divine spark within you and invite it to reveal itself in those who oppose you. The divine spark in your heart ignites itself in others through the blazing light and love of your consciousness. Witness for that. Strengthen that. Insist upon that. The truth in me calls out to the truth in you. For it is only that I will stand witness to. It is only that I am determined to see. It is only that I will testify for. For to condemn you would be to condemn me and we are the same. And so I insist on regarding you as true and good and wise and kind. And so it will be because that is what we all want to see.